The side of means whoever wins this best of three is participating in the Doobie Engine of Wonders Cup. That'll start uh, this weekend, maybe, I think. Dude, I'm still lost with dates. I just check what's up tomorrow when I before I go to bed and set the alarm accordingly. Nice little lightning shield creep here. Now he's hurting himself in confusion. Oops. Uh oh. Can still get some kills. Not this one. Didn't get anything, eh? No. All goes to Lucy. Now he has aura. I also got the Shadow Priest. And he got the big mana. This is not too great. For Soen. I mean, he's saving resources as he doesn't have to build items at all. Items? Units. Maybe I should... Coffee. More. I'm just not used to the new rhythm, guys. Usually now would be the time to start the stream. You know? My body did, just didn't adapt yet. Hot coffee, hot Neo. <laughs> Happy will only play four games at Raraland. What? That is, I think, impossible. Oh no, if you lose in the semi-final, then it's possible. Okay, brave. And that is the double B3 launch. Lin revolutionizing a matchup again. So, how do you beat this when you're not happy? This is really cool to see. How well does this strategy work if your opponent is not happy? To be honest, so in is no Lin. Oops. Well, that's a TP or a dead seer. I'd say solid early game by Lucy. But his tech is not quite ready yet. His graveyard not quite ready yet. I'm more interested to see how well the strategy works if you're not Lin. I mean It's still so in, right? Like he can do it. Raider opening into Waka, into Wyvern. And according to some of the Back to Warcraft casters, who might or might not be alive, we don't know, Soen is the best micro in the world, independent of the race. Ina with a good comment. How smart is it that double beast and Torrent Totem so you can build a tier 2 expo based on your tier 2 strength and the undead is late with tech anyways because he's playing ghouls. Wow, how late this strategy has been introduced. I'm surprised. Yeah, right? I agree. Plus, you go into Wyvern for the lack of, like, to make up for the lack of creep speed. To force your opponent into Gargs. To be honest, oh my god, triple claws on the TK, just seeing this now. Gargs could harass the Great Hall kind of well ish, but then there's also Bad Riders. I like the meta, I really do.
So one with a little bit of a wrong read. F forcing undeads to go fiends again. <laughs> um, I think it becomes very execution based and in the late game. Oh, Lucy has a TV out. But yeah, it's tough, man. Garks are playable if you nuke the bats. But it's tough. Like, undeads have to find an answer that works. I like it. Brought to you by Norwegian Whale and his show match. At Lynn, of course. Who kind of created this. I was very happy to see Lynn not using that show match as some sort of cash grab, but really preparing for it, revolutionizing the matter with it, always appreciating Lynn. Thank you, the Flip, for gifting a sub to Ein Schaf and Sajay. Thank you as well. Undead can have a fast attack if they creep the camp with only two ghouls in the first creep, then bring the rest of the ghouls for creeping. Uh, yeah. It's also a very Terranus standy thing, this creep spot, then, right? So I think three ghouls should be more or less the norm. Lightning shield hurt. The Flip with another gifted sub by 84. Damn. Uh, 284. 84, I might need your help within the next 10 days just for like small little testing. If that's all right, if I can hip you, hip, hip, hip you up. Oh my God, hit you up. Speaking of hitting, this push hits quite nicely. Onto the Great Hall, not finished. It's all about making this as expensive as possible because he can't hold that no more. Damn, Lucy, not bad. Alchemist falls, not the end of the world. DK and Lich, much more important. Um, okay, I said Lucy, not bad, but oh my god, this horrible now. This is ap this is a disaster. I didn't see how much fell, and the answer is everything fell. Holy! Yeah, total destruction. <laughs> total destruction. <laughs> oh, I should have shut. I should just shut my mouth. Uh, I mean, not bad to cancel that expo. Pretty bad to lose everything over it. Like literally, absolutely everything. So this is a nice graph, I think. But yeah, the last second there when the heroes fell, that should probably be cut off to create an even nicer graph. One or so in. As expected. Just nice execution, man. Just a nice execution. Using that expansion as a decoy when you kinda don't want to fight into Wyvern. Giving me Infuse in a solid position vibes. You know, I never I never talked about the whole state of the game, the bigger picture. I just talked about the timing for the push, and that was kind of nice. Granted that he did get the Great Hall. Yeah, I'm backpedaling. I know, I know, I know. I know I screwed up. Lucy's fine. <laughs> yeah, burning house, dude. <laughs> Not having a TP was a disaster, pretty much. I don't see how Undead can compete in this uh, versus this orc strategy on tier 2 except with the Fiend build. Fiend build? Like, Happy tried this as well to counter it with the Fiend build. 
And that got destroyed bad. So we get another approach. And Lucy's approach now is to go way back. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to Philbot times. Let's go back to Philbot fiends and see how that works. I think this is too slow. Just from the top of my head. I wonder, is Lucy becoming manic against the strategy and goes Crypt Lord? Or is it DK Fiends? It's really cool to see this development because no patch forced this. It was just the brainchild of Lynn, Orcs copy, and Undeads try to react. So. This is obviously a very greedy build with only Farsia. Can't you punish this in some kind of way if you know that it's a Farsia fast tech? Dude, my neighbor is still mowing the lawn. How much... How big is his freaking garden? It's been going on for an hour. You can't hear it, but it annoys the hell out of me. Move to a rural area, they say. Have a peaceful neighborhood, they say. There we go. Did you win the costume contest? What? What? <laughs> I, have no, I have no idea what you're talking about. So yeah, um, as I said, Fiend's rather slow. He got two of them, can start creeping. Yesterday you attended an intense Halloween party? Yeah. Yesterday I talked about patch notes. That was scary as well. And some of the reactions are incredibly spooky. But I was home. Like, are you confusing me with someone else maybe? So confused, man. <laughs> what the hell? So, um, so it's Fastier is working out quite nicely alongside the creeps. The two fiends are already heard. Blizzard Halloween party and 900 MMR cosplays elite balance designer. Hey, I'm 1300, okay? But apart from that, dude, tier three is on the way. Shadow Hunter this time. Different build by Soen. Not you. A player's forces are under attack. Hmm. Dude, Lucy is so he's almost an entire tech behind without having an expo. Without having a level. I'd almost go as fast as as far and say this build is not working out. Did 
did Lucy even hit tier 3 last game? Yeah, 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 he had a destroyer. Forces are under attack. He needs to creep up a storm, man, but Fasia Shadow Hunter Wyvern? That's a very good solution versus fiends. There's very little he can do against air. Can't wait to when the crystal balls are dropping here at this camp. I love my suggestion for that crystal ball. Don't wanna. Yeah, I I, I wanna tout my own horn. It was a great change. That camp was always lacking diversity since the removal of Lightning Shield. And now it's at least four drops again. So smart. Oh, creep manipulation. This is so much freedom. And the TC will get a Cloak of Flames. Nice. Just make it three charges. Yeah, debatable. Ooh, offensive coil. No heal wave. Wait, he didn't skill heal wave yet. He could use it now. There we go. But it was a bit too late. And so he has to go for a town portal. Dude, so in creeping up a storm with the wyvern now and venom spears up just waiting for the TC waiting for the resources second red spot for him Shake 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 your booty It's a clear sign that he should build a TC and give him the cloak of flames come on So Lucy survives longer than expected. Has a nice equipment versus the hero focus with double ring and also death pact. Plus the frost armor. Man, this is a defensive build by Lucy. Got some solid levels. Would love to see armor upgrades if he can somehow afford it. But you know, at the beginning of tier three, everything is very, very expensive. Doesn't have an orb. Oh, he does have an orb now. And good consumables. This is not unwinnable. With great execution. But here's the flyby. Lucy, no TP. This is not good. Lucy has to go for a push now, but how much damage can he do? In comparison? Nothing. 
<laughs> lots and lots and lots of economy damage. He lost the shop, so indeed. But that's about it. Dude, this base. Pretty much uncrackable. What an anticlimactic ending to this game. I wanted to see the big fight with the big spells. Uh, so inarguably losing quite a bit. No, 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 no. Bit overwhelmed here. Lucy was able to get a town portal, but he's down to three fiends. Four fiends. Okay, so S Lucy lives with a 20 foot disadvantage and almost no gold and just three acolytes and no ghouls. That was sick. So in having the time of his life. I think he had a better shot staying at the orc base. Hmm. I mean. was quite horrible either way. So how can Lucy bring this back? How much gold was that really? We a thousand. <laughs> That's a lot of gold. Well. <laughs> Lucy with the fake staff. And so it was falling for it. Nice to see. Little psychological win. It was a little panicky. Debated indeed. But you know, I think so it doesn't mind. Say hello to the wife and kids in the borough. Stock up on consumables. See a different path of the map once again. You haven't been here for so long. And then rinse and repeat. A player's forces are under attack. And I guess this army will come back with vengeance, guys. Not a single straight up fight this game. We see it now. Nice scout. Just leave the wolf behind. Okay. Are we engaging? We are engaging. Oh, sweet silence. TC was about to jump. Okay. Very, very curious how Lucy can survive this. Oh, two fiends down. Level four. This one saved, but for how long? Why are they falling? They are fragile. Sweet silence. The silence is pretty much on point. Good lasted. Also this burrow. Sweet. But once the Destros are gone. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing. We still have Stomp. Kaboom! Shadow Hunter falls there, but... That's a big kill, of course. But there's still nothing left. Lucy fighting, fighting so hard, and Williams, 
or as we like to call you, N.W. Williams, 50 months. 50 months, you guys bring me a lot of joy. I really appreciate everything you do. See you in two weeks. And Willie, Nate, Jumbo, 11, love, B2W, Neo. Much love, mate. See ya. Hope you have a good travel. Mm. Kind of insane that you traveled to a different continent twice. For stuff I do. Lucy looks good now. I don't know, dude. Europe versus China will be today? What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> I'll never get sleep again. Fumpty, thank you for the 27 month. Of course, we'll be streaming it, except the Blade games. Uh, loving the stream as always. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Yeah, this seriously ruins my day. Not gonna lie, it does. Shadow Hunter back. Needs mana though. It can go for a potion if it's not off cooldown. TC is a beast, by the way. 12 armor. Close to level 4. Tommy Lee Johns, thank you for the sub. Happy Halloween to all the Back to Walker fans. Jeffrey, thank you for the 6 month resub. Neo with our Italian community shirt. Guess you ran out of clothes. Haha! <laughs> na 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 na! I wear that! Quite often, to be honest. It's a bit big, but it's great, dude. I love it. It was a great gift last Rara. All right, Lucy, you fought hard. You fought well. You made the right correction with the double crypt. Can you bring it home? Forces are under attack. Main bases are about to expire in like three minutes, two and a half. Are we stalling this out? Yo, Moonstruck hit him with a hammer, dude. The tension's Later rising, everybody. Under I'd still love to see a defend upgrade, but I guess the majority of the damage is spells anyway. With Venom Spears. Not a spell, but you know, technically counting as a spell. You know what I mean. So Lucy is building up to 80? Can he afford that? He'll, of course, mine longer. A lot longer. Three minutes. Ah, so got a tiny. Okay. Yeah, that could be the win condition. A player's 
forces are under attack. Close to level 5 DK. Hmm. Also close to level 4 TC. Lucy can do it, man. That fight here was brilliant. But can he crack the Great Hall? What's the Garg doing there? Maybe baiting bats? It could be a nice strategic move with a lot of thought behind it. Or he just misclicked. It is so, it's, it's both, if there's a 50-50 probability. Okay, here's the shade. Lucy has no lumber. Or oh, did he queue the gold mine already? No, he has to break this. Basically all in. Supply numbers even. Can Lucy stay alive and force game three? That is so many fiends. Little wonky. Because you can't really kite that well with the fiends here. But they have the high ground. Nice engagement. But all the fiends web. Lucy isn't kiting though. Just faces them head up. Straight up. Heads up. And fiends... Are falling quickly, shifting to hero focus. Oh, statues not really part of this fight. Spiders are falling left, right, and center. I got a feeling that this is not gonna result in an undead win. Two fiends again. The bad rider is somehow still alive. Shadow Hunter! Oh no! He had a mana potion, but the silence again at the perfect time. So without the healer and the disable, is there a chance for Lucy? Uh-oh, stop! No, not like this! Okay, there's no chance for Lucy. Oh, man. So and does it. Good fight by Lucy, though. Made this way closer than it had any right to be. And the Fast Fiends, they kind of worked out. They kind of worked out. Ah, feels bad. That was a fun series. Game one, pretty one-sided. Game two, a little bit of a shake-up. It did work quite nicely to a degree with that fight in the middle. But late game, good choice to go Tiny Great Hall. And then win. So it is participating in the Doobie Ancient of Wonders Cup.